Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with today's Overwatch news. First up today, I got a really cool story and that is that Blizzard has effectively shut down one of the very popular aimbots that's been floating around out there. Now this particular type of aimbot targets a specific RGB value. In particular, the red outline surrounding opposing players. It's been a specific shade, a specific color since Overwatch has launched. As far as I'm aware, I mean, I could be wrong. They might've changed it over time, but this aimbot was meant to target that exact color value. And what Blizzard has done is made it so that in every single match, the color value of that red outline of your opponents slightly changes, ever so slightly, something that the, the average person wouldn't recognize, but enough to throw the aimbot off so that it's inconsistent, if not entirely broken. Now, obviously, the people who make this aimbot, you could say, well, they'll eventually track down all of the different shades of red, the colors, the, the color range that Blizzard has used, and then program that into their aimbot, right? Well, yeah, but any maps that have any red hue or red coloring in the background could really, really throw it off. So this is a really nice thing that Blizzard has done to, again, crack down on this particular type of aimbot. Now, there's all sorts of different aimbots, and this is only one type of aimbot, but it is one of the more popular ones, one that's been seeing a large amount of use, and because Blizzard has made this tiny change that we, we're really not going to recognize in our own games. It's it's really kind of thrown a wrench in the plans of the people who use and program this particular type of bot. So kudos to Blizzard for making this change. You know, we've talked about hackers and, and people who run scripts and botters and all sorts of stuff on this channel quite a bit. And it goes without saying, this stuff ruins the game. It, it, it kills motivation for people to play if they feel like they're consistently playing against aimbots. And it's been well known, actually, that even in the highest levels of play, you're seeing people use this. And it might not be a, so much of a problem for an individual player, depending on your rankings. Maybe you don't see it all the time, or maybe you just don't recognize it all the time, and it is in fact happening. So anything that Blizzard can do to stave off the use and abuse of things like this that give people an unfair advantage uh, gets a huge thumbs up in my book. And the second news story for today is a recent change to Arisa's Ultimate. Supercharger now allows you to continue to charge your alt while it's activated. So you place it down and you shoot at the opponents and you can still continue to charge your ultimate. However, this was not an intended change. It has been recognized by Blizzard as a bug. So if you've been seeing Arisa players using their ultimate quite often, that's because they're charging it a lot faster than they're supposed to be. She'll put down her ultimate and then while that's active and she's got her damage boost, she'll just unleash damage into the opposing team, building the ultimate faster. In fact, I've even seen examples of people charging it. I think as much as like 80 or 90 percent while the ultimate is active i mean that's absolutely insane it almost makes it so that she can chain ultimates back to back at the very least you're seeing orisa players have her ultimate in practically every single team fight so orisa's a bit over tuned right now because of this bug it's not intended blizzard is aware and they're going to be fixing it i just wanted to give everybody a heads up that this is out there this is happening some people are saying avoid comp altogether until this is fixed i mean i guess so but if you have an Arisa on both teams, it's not like one team is going to get an advantage over the other. So I don't know that you have to go as far as like, avoid cop, be careful, guys. Uh, but just be aware that this is out there, it's happening, and undoubtedly people are abusing it. And whenever bugs like this comes up and they become well-known in the community, do bear in mind that, that depending on how bad it is and how abused it is, people can take, uh, Blizzard can take punitive measures against people. So this isn't so much to tell you about the bugs so that you can abuse it, but so that you can be aware about it and that it might be happening in your games. And that is pretty much going to do it for me here today, guys. As always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.